Oh my god, I thought this wouldn't be possible, but no, I found a way. So, I used the, the Clone Wars, well, yeah, the Clone Wars, uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter to build this thing, which is also known as the Anakin's Jedi, um, Interceptor. Here's my Anakin minifig and R2-D2. Here are the leftover pieces. A ton of them. A lot. Okay. This is just... Wow. Like, I didn't even think this was possible, but no. I... I managed to do it. I did. I'll show you how this works. So, unlike the Jedi Starfighter where you don't have to take apart R2-D2, you have to take off his head. I'll put his body over there. Put it in here. And then, there's nowhere to put his lightsaber. Though I could put one underneath somewhere. By the way, since I'm on a rug, it's really hard to record. Since I'm on a rug, I gave him a, a minifigure base plate so he doesn't fall over. Sorry, something came apart. Alright, so you lift up the thing. I managed to pull off the front, lift up the thing, give me a second, remember when I said there was a place I could put the lightsaber, so I took off the thing and did that, so now you can put the lightsaber right here. See, now you can put the light tube right there, right there. Perfect idea. There you go. There's even stud shooters at the bottom. So. You can shoot lasers. Which is just cool. I can't do this one hand. Alright. Put that back on. Here it is. You know how there's like the logos on the back for the Jedi's? Well, I did that same thing. With that thing. So, here it is. Works perfectly. And it doesn't fall apart easily. One problem is I couldn't find the way to keep the wings from bending. Actually, wait a second. Just this one, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna look what's the problem. Let's see. I thought I did the same thing for both, so. What's the problem? Give me a second, guys. Okay, never mind, they both do it. Let's see. And that just came apart. I kept on doing that again and again, so it just came apart. He was like, come on, stop doing that to me. He was like... And then he was like, oh, okay, that's it. I'm just falling apart now. But, yeah, here it is. Got an interceptor. Wow. Stop it, man. You're really killing the moment. This isn't possible. Before we continue, our sponsor is Raid Shadow... Poop. All right, that's it. That's uh, that's that's the advertisement or sponsor. It's really cool. But I did, I did it. I made Jedi Interceptor. Cool. All right, I'm done. Not sure if I can do the same thing with Obi Wan's. Jedi Interceptor, because I don't remember how I built this. I just built it from scratch and forgot it. Alright, I'm going to rebuild this back to the Jedi. 
Jedi Starfighter, but this is a really cool build. Look at this. If you're smart enough, try rebuilding this. Please don't claim it as your own. Or I will kill you. Alright, that's it. But. Just like the Lego set. That interceptor. This thing comes up like that. While the front keeps down. Also. The control panel is right there. And it can fit tightly in there. And he's perfect. Well, that's video. That's it. Not sure what I was doing with these guys. But these extra pieces surprised me. Because the interceptor looked like it would take a lot of pieces, but no, it took like half of the pieces in the set. The interceptor is smaller than the starfighter. That's really cool with build build. I really enjoyed making that. All right, see you later. I'm gonna up, uh, look up the instructions on brick instructions since I I don't have the instructions. I lost them. Is it's a cool build and all, but I really like the interceptor more. Or, I mean, the Jedi Starfighter. And anyways, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these extra pieces. I really like the Starfighter more. And maybe I'll buy the official Interceptor. But this one's better than the official one, to be honest. I like it a lot. Alright, bye.